Ross here with Tickets 101. And a question I keep getting asked um, on my comments and a lot of people are worried about is, are the tickets from BTS real? Um, the people bought them from Vivid Seats or StubHub or SeatGeek or something like that. Um, short answer is really hard to tell. Um, the only way to make sure if you did buy tickets from a secondary website is to make sure that they transfer the tickets to your account through the primary website. So let's say the primary website is Ticketmaster. That's where they're selling the tickets through originally. Um, if you bought them on StubHub, make sure the person transfers them to your Ticketmaster account. Uh, they do that by sending them to your email and they'll put your name in and then you'll accept them through Ticketmaster and then the tickets are gonna leave the other person's name and go under your name. Um, so once they're under your name, the tickets are yours. Uh, that person has no right to them anymore. So once they do that, you're good to go. Um, any other things still can work. So if they mail them to you, they still can work, uh, but it's just no guarantee. So I kind of tell people that it's the safest way. Um, other than that, just going through the primary website will just be the easiest thing and you'll, you won't have to worry about someone forgetting or someone doing anything. Um, if you do go to Vivacy or StubHub, a lot of them have like pre preferred sellers or they'll say like a five-star rated seller or something like that. So that's just someone who's been selling on their website for a long time. Um, usually it's broker. So those people, it's a business to them. So they'll make sure they'll take care of you. Um, and they, they want to stay in good graces with, with the website. So they usually take care of you. Um, so they usually don't have any problems. But just if you can, just make sure you go through the primary website or you get the tickets transferred to you. It'll save you a lot of headache. Uh, I see a lot of people on here are very worried. But um, yeah, just follow those steps. If you do if you do buy from StubHub or Vivacy's, uh make sure they have a date where they say you should have the tickets by this date. It's usually a couple days before the show. If you don't get them on that date, just keep calling StubHub. They'll call the person, and um, it'll just make it a little easier for you. So, yeah, hope this helped. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, make sure you comment below. Uh, please subscribe. If you want me to do a video about any certain topic, um, I'll let you know what knowledge I have on that issue. Um, I've seen it all, so there's a lot of things I do know, um, and I'll try to help out. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a good one.